How many times have you heard someone say, there ought to be a law? There ought to be a law against that. We need a new law. Every single day, right? You can't open a newspaper. <laughs> you don't open newspapers. You don't even know what that is. You can't open your smartphone and read a story without someone saying, we need to pass a new law. Der, 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 der. Human history is filled with laws. We've had laws throughout the entire history of man. But there's two basic kinds of laws. There is malum in se and there's malum prohibitum. Now those are legal terms. Malum in se is something that is wrong in and of itself, such as murder, rape, robbery, thievery, things of that nature. I don't have to explain to you why murder is wrong. I don't have to explain to you why rape and robbery and theft, I don't have to explain why those are wrong. Then you have malum prohibitum. And that is something that is wrong because someone told you that it was. Because someone got together or some group of someones got together in a room and decided that was going to be the law. Great example, super simple example, is speed limits. Why do I have to drive 55 miles an hour? Because a bunch of guys got together in a room and decided that 55 was the speed limit. Now, malum prohibitum, the thing about that is it varies from state to state, country to country, jurisdiction to jurisdiction. Some places you can't drive faster than 65. Some places you can drive 75 and so on. So malum prohibitum just happens to be what is new and cool and hip at that point in time. And it changes all the time. When you hear people talking about, there needs to be a law or we have to have a new law or whatever, is it malum in se? Or is it malum prohibitum? And what you need to ask people when they say, oh, there needs to be a law against 10 round magazines or semi-automatic this or what have you. I want you to ask them this. Say, if we pass a law against all semi-automatic black rifles or magazines that hold more than 10 rounds, is that going to stop people from committing murder? Well, well, no. Is that going to stop people from committing assault and robbery and rape and so forth? Well, it, it won't stop them. Okay. In this country right now, we have a really hardcore disconnect where people believe that passing another law will somehow change human behavior. Human behavior is, is what it is. And we need to get back to the foundation of malum in se. We need to understand, we need to have humans, we need to have people in our community that understand that theft is wrong, robbery is wrong, rape and murder are wrong, and we don't have to explain it. You just know it in your heart. Because if you have a creature that does not believe in his heart that murder is wrong, rape and robbery are wrong, how is it passing more malum prohibitum laws are going to stop that person? We need to get back down to the basics, and you need to understand the difference between a natural wrong, such as malum in se, and a it's wrong because I told you so, which is malum prohibitum.